Good evening, it's uh, Tom Srogian. Tonight I'm going to be talking about art supplies. Well, back when I started in college, I studied to be a graphic artist. And back in this was the early 2000s, you really had to go and find an art supply store, really, if you want to get supplies, or else you'd be just kind of up a creek. I mean, I, was, I wasn't even a total fine artist, but you had to have your basics. Which meant going to MJ Designs or Michaels, they're the same company. I know some of you guys might not know this, but years ago, MJ Designs was a really nice crafts and art store. It was owned by the you know father and son, I believe. They, they, they had some kind of argument, and they split the company up, and it became Michaels. And really, a lot of the stuff for the art side suffered a lot. And so I had to go to a store called Pearl Paint. I don't know if anyone remembers that, but it was another really good art supply store. And, you know, I moved away from... Uh, graphic design and other stuff. Recently I decided to get back into drawing and I was looking at my supplies and I'm like, man, I'm running really low on stuff. It's dried up. So I started looking around and like I said, I was used to the old mentality of you had to go to a really good art supply store like Pearl Paint, which sadly they've gone under too. We've got a Hobby Lobby, which is fantastic, but I was pleasantly surprised to find that a lot of the stores around my area, like uh, my Walmart and my uh, let me see, Walmart and uh, a lot of other places, he really kind of picked up the get their uh, game in their art departments years ago when I uh, bought a paper. I think this was from Walmart. It's a uh, impression sketch diary by PP International LLC. I have no idea. It's made in Canada. For some company shot in North Carolina, and the paper was, eh, but I've never really heard of the company. I mean, it wasn't a, uh, maybe it was well known somewhere, but not really particularly well known here. I don't think it's archival. It's kind of turned yellow. But now, here, my local Walmart, they carry brands like Strathmore and Kansong. I believe they also have this brand here from, by, uh, Taylor and Rowney, which is an actual art supply company. They're made in England, and it is, uh, I believe it's uh, acid-free, which makes it more archival, and you can use it on these, you know, pen, ink, pastels, stuff like that, and it's a pretty good paper. I like it, actually, for two or three bucks. It's very good paper. I mean, it's put up with a lot of the stuff I've sketched on it. There, you know, some wet medium stuff, like I used a uh, See if I can find it. Watercolors here. It's the character's design and stuff. I mean, so it's really good paper. And I'm not the greatest artist, but it's a good starting paper. It's good for sketching on. Recommend that. I mean, I've heard some people recommend Bristol board. But I've tried the Bristol paper out. I mean, I haven't done that yet. But this is two or three bucks. Natural art supply manufacturer. Not made in China or somewhere like a lot of the stuff is now. Like I said, you either get stuff made here, maybe Europe or America, and then the better you know, brand papers. But some of these general store brand papers, maybe China if you're lucky. Don't know if you can go below, below that, but they find ways. I mean, who knows? Moving on. We have a store at Potomac Mills Mall called Five Below. It's everything below five bucks. And while I was there, I stumbled on this here. It's a drawing pencil set by Royal and Lang, Lang Nickel. It's a sketching set and it has 16 pieces to it. It's got a sketch pad, eraser, sharpener, and an assortment of drawing pencils. And this is really good because like a lot of the drawing pencils you buy or like a dollar a piece easy but with this i mean even if the pencils are not fantastic you get a nice pencil case which that can be 12 bucks in our supply store so we'll open this up we we'll opened it earlier the packaging here's kind of run-the-mill packaging open the box nice you know, zipper box you open here 
We have our pencils here in a range of different, you know, darker, lighter, softer, harder leads, which is nice. Got your small eraser up here. Small eraser, got a sharpener. And over here, we have a sketchbook. I haven't opened that up yet, so we'll do that now. There's a little sketch pad. Let's see where it's made. Probably China like everything else. Let me open it real quick. All right, I'm back. I had to uh, struggle with the packaging. Here's the, the notepad, sketch pad here. A nice collection of drawing paper. Not bad paper, not the best, not the worst either though. The way it feels. That's that. A little cheaply made, but it is a free or a, not totally free, but it's a nice feature to put in here. It gives you a sketchbook and a space to put another sketchbook, which might be nicer. I mean, I've seen these uh, cases go for around uh, 12 or $13 at the art supply store. And this gives you a case, pencils, sharpener, eraser, and slots to put other supplies later, and in the sketchbook for five bucks. So I'm pretty happy with that. Move on to the next item. This next item is oil pastels. And this is a uh, underrated item in my opinion. They're similar to a crayon and people will dismiss them as that, but they're not. You you apply them to paper or something, you apply friction and it takes on a texture and appearance like oil paint. I have a set of cray pass oil pastels, which are you know, slightly nicer than these, but for $5, this is a really nice starter set to use. I mean, it gives you 48 colors here, which is, it gives you plenty of variety. I mean, I paid, my first set was like two or three bucks, and it was 16 colors. And this is uh, 48 colors here. And this is the uh, works there. So I have all your colors, like a little tray, which is nice, that you work with as your essentials, your starter set. And if you guys definitely want to get into something, experiment, oil pastels will write almost any, on any surface. Which means you can do a lot of mixed media work with them. And I'm you know, planning on doing some highlighting work on some of my other sketches. And it gives you a nice extra option for uh, <clears throat> ways to uh, add detail. I mean, these are not. this is not a fine detail tool, but like in... On the scene, you might be able to blend in like the white into for like stars or something, or you never know. It's a nice media to learn to use. I hope this video has been uh, informative and uh, helpful in your search uh, for art supplies. I may be able to do, you know, show some pictures later what I make with these, but as someone coming from a graphic arts background, it is a pleasant surprise to see that the stores have finally started to carry products other than Crayola and the uh, price isn't high I mean art's a great thing to do and it's stress relieving but buying supplies can definitely put a cramp on your wallet I mean I'll let you guys know how the pencils look but I thought this was a really good deal for art supplies you guys have a good night and this has been a uh, preview or overview by Thomas Rowe